everyone, and welcome back to Wolf Quest 3. What a way to start this off. We've got a bear attack. You stupid bear. You couldn't even let me do my intro, could you? Couldn't, no. Oh, instead, we gotta chase your butt off. <laughs> he missed me. Wow, that's pretty bad. Your giant little paw swipe completely missed me. <laughs> and Ruby's not a small wolf either. I mean, that's pretty sad. And get out of here. Try to do the intro. Good grief. Yeah, you better run. I'll come bite you again. Holy oh, stupid bears. I completely hate bears. And Regulus, why are you out of the grass, pup? I don't know, maybe Moonlight called him out. But, anyways, hello, everyone. <laughs> uh,. That was quite the intro, wasn't it? Um, welcome back. We're here with Ruby and her adorable pups. And where I left off in the last video, I have gotten two elk calves and a rabbit for the little pups to eat on. Moonlight is still very badly injured. He's limping around even though he won't lay down. <laughs> and we are pretty much waiting on our little... Uh, well, we are waiting on Denebola, Regulus, and Bellatrix, but poor little Pulsar's 19 pounds. <laughs> the poor puppy. He's a complete pound smaller than his siblings, so right now we are actually waiting on him, for the most part. Otherwise, Rigel's definitely already 20 pounds. Said so I know Bellatrix isn't 20 pounds yet, Denebola isn't, and then our poor little Pulsar's a pound smaller. <laughs> but they're getting there. I'm just so glad we don't have any sick pups right now. And actually, we really haven't. Now, uh, Regulus and Dinobola got sick when they were little, but otherwise we haven't had any sickness ever since then, which has been awesome. <laughs> but here's our little puppies! Little Dinobola. Prancing around. And they're all gonna stop for how. <laughs> Oh, I was gonna say, I don't know why Moonlight won't lay down. There he goes. <laughs> Regulus giving his brother sass. <laughs> He's gonna get him a bite to eat. Yeah, it took me forever to find those two elk. I guess the elk migrate kind of towards the open meadows. At this time, I don't know, I couldn't find any up here, and I am, like, in crevice like territory. Like, we're right up here. And they should be everywhere, and I couldn't find Mother Elk anywhere. <laughs> so finding those two elk definitely took a long time. But it turned out in the end, and our little pups got some food. Despite all the food, little Pulsar still isn't hungry enough to eat. <laughs> we need you to eat, pup. We're waiting on you. Look at it. Seems like when they walk certain coat colors, they kind of look like he's got little vampire teeth. It's so cute. <laughs> See his little fangs? <laughs> They're so cute. Boy, the brothers are sizing each other up. See those little vampire fangs? They're so cute. <laughs> little Pulsar. Oh boy. They look 
look like they're really going to get into it. Wonder who would win? Pulse. Oh, nope. <laughs> they gave up. <laughs> oh, boy. I was going to say Pulsar versus Dinabola. I wonder which one would win. But nope. Little Pulsar's like, nah, I'm going to go take me a nap. <laughs> Bellatrix laying over there, chewing on something. Then the bullets dig. Oh, oh. There's a. There's a wolf. I think it's just one. Oh, it's crevice like death, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> oh, we're gonna kill her real quick. How dare you show up to my territory? My little puppies are trying to sleep and relax. So yeah, we're gonna have to take a life on real quick. And I like how dedicated Moonlight is. He has a broken leg, so he's limping everywhere, yet he still chases down this wolf and attacks it. <laughs> he's so evil. He's protective and evil at the same time. Wolf. She has been responsible for the death of one of my puppies. And she just hits me. Alright, there we go. Ah! Take that, Kravis Lake Pack! You can send as many pathetic wolves as you want, we will still kill them. <laughs> Puppy owls. I love it when the puppies howl. They're so cute. Hi, puppies. Hello. Now, apparently, everybody's 20 pounds except for <laughs> the pulsar. <laughs> Tricks flinging dirt at us, how rude. <laughs> so, this is Ruby's finale video. Next, uh, well, will it be next weekend? Next weekend, if everything goes planned right. I will be posting Emma Kalola's um, video, her fu her finale video, and then the following weekend, or maybe next weekend, I don't know yet, I will have Ruby's Puppies as Adults video, where I show off the pups as adults. And, oh, hang on just a second with the bear, I see him in the distance running. Grass pups. Oh, these stupid bears, I swear. I can't get any break from these dumb bears. I swear it's the same one, too. If you want to get bit today? Well, guess what? I have to. I'm going to make sure it hurts so you don't come back. Goodness, I can't even talk anything about the pups without you showing up, you stupid bear. <laughs> Look, even Moonlight's frustrated with <laughs> He was flattening his ears and everything, like, oh, not you again. <laughs> Get your annoying butt out of here. Look at that. Now I got a bruised jaw thanks to you. What is he doing? I'm not even biting him. He was like glitched out. <laughs> you get out of here. Goodness. Regulus! I didn't tell you you could come out, you little... 
<laughs> you little pup! <laughs> I didn't tell you to come out. Go back in the grass. Sleep. I think we're gonna curl up beside Moonlight and sleep really quick. There we go. Sweet dreams, little pups. Well, great news is, uh, Moonlight's minor injury is healed. Which is wonderful. He still has his broken leg once. I'm not even sure what the minor one was. Probably still a leg. From when uh, he had to deal with the Prospect Peak Pack. But at least the minor one healed. Even if I don't remember what it was. <laughs> Anyways, back to what I was saying. The person who asked if I would make a video of the pups grown up, I did that. And I made a cute little video of them kind of walking around in different places in Amethyst Mountain, kind of showing off what they look like, and I described kind of what I picked up on their personalities as a pup. Because as all the Wolf Quest players know you cannot actually see their personalities on the board like you can uh, your wolf you create. We're gonna say bold, cautious, energetic, lazy, and stuff like that. So I just kind of mentioned on the video what I picked up on them as puppies. Denny Bola, come back here, little one. <laughs> Please. I am not about to lose. One of you guys, this close, because Pulsar is literally 19.9 pounds. <laughs> and he's full. I just needed 0.1 pounds, pup. Why? <laughs> little Pulsar. But I did make a video of the pups grown up. So everyone will see them. And although I have mentioned, this adorable little princess right here will be the one I choose as long as she makes it, which seeing as she's already 20 pounds, I'm pretty sure she will make it if Pulsar will ever eat. <laughs> but I will be picking her, but I still made a video to show off the pups so everyone can see what they all look like, even if they don't get played, but I do have something interesting coming. That will involve every single one of these pups. So, be on the lookout for that. It will be something that happens in Bellatrix's series, which will be coming right after Ruby's, once Amaclola finishes her litter and Ruby finishes hers. Then I will start the next generation. And I will have something very interesting in Bellatrix's series, which is already gonna be a headache probably <laughs> but I'm still trying to keep up with it I'm trying to do my best and I think you'll find it kind of interesting maybe a little bit <laughs> but it will involve every single one of Ruby's pups so stay tuned for that but that will happen after Bellatrix has her litter I need them all to be adults. And they're getting there. I mean, can you imagine? These pups are already 20 pounds. They look so small, but 20 pounds is so heavy. It's like, they don't look like they're 20 pounds. <laughs> Little Dinabola right here is, but he looks so small. I don't know, I guess it's because the pups are so precious. Like little Rigel here, he's the chonker boy. <laughs> Can't wait to see what all of them look like. I already know what uh, he's gonna look like. He's gonna look like the. Oh man, I can never think of the name of that coat. But it's. I've played as a wolf of, with that coat before, Valiente. It's a gray and white coat with the little white eyebrows on it. 
and I like that cut a lot. It's really pretty. And then Pulsar right here is going to look just like his mom, which is the half black coat. Because that is what Ruby is. I just have her a whole lot darker, so you can't really tell. But he matches his mother identically. So I know what him and Ryan Jill are going to look like, and I know what Bellatrix is going to look like, just because that's a non-player character coat, part of the DLC from Wolf Quest Team. So, that's the bronze forehead coat, and so I can't wait to see that, and she gets bigger. But I don't know what Regulus and Dinabola are going to look like, because Dinabola's coat can be a couple, and then Regulus's coat can definitely be different. Hold it up, I see a wolf. Uh only looks like one wolf, so I'm gonna pick up her. We are gonna run back here. And then I'm gonna grab him. Give me a minute. Yeah, I'm gonna carry them back to the grass and then wolf them in. Because it is just one wolf. Yes, it's Curvis like 8. <laughs> oh, we're gonna kill her quickly. Shuna showed up. She looks exactly like Judge Reed to him. <laughs> Same coat and everything. You should have left our precious little puppies alone. We're letting the Pulsar try to get hungry so he can eat. <laughs> Let's notice in the game how none of the runts want to eat when we're literally waiting on them. <laughs> I've had a runt lay down and sit there on 70% hunger, and I had carcasses everywhere of elk, deer, and even a moose. And he didn't even like look at them. He's like, no, I just don't want to eat right now. And he wasn't sick. It's like, I don't know why those puppies do it. It's like, we're waiting on you, pup. You gotta eat. <laughs> but Pulsar's like, no, I don't want to. <laughs> well, I have been laying here for quite a little bit. All the pups are passed out but Pulsar. And he still hasn't eaten. <laughs> oh my gosh, pup. <laughs> and so he goes and sleeps. So Ruby's gonna have to sleep again to get him to eat. He is literally on 19.9 pounds. Pup. Why? <laughs> Why do you puppies do this? You little runts. You are so cute. But my goodness. <laughs> oh. Ruby's just gonna come over here with her family. And she's gonna pass out and hope the Pulsar is hungry enough when they wake up. <laughs> Come on, little pup. You can do it, Pulsar. Just get a little bit hungry. You just need to take one bite. <laughs> we have one little elk calf left, so I hope that lasts. Oh! My jaw injury healed. And finally! We did it! Ruby and Moonlight kept all five pups alive, healthy, and fat. <laughs> well, except for little Pulsar, he isn't the fattest, but... <laughs> we did it, pups! Yay! Oh, look at Dinabola, he's like, yes! We did it! Now I demand to learn how to hunt. <laughs> Plus, I can't wait to see what the Wolf Quest team does for the uh, saga where you teach your pups how to hunt. I can't wait to see how that goes. I am so excited about that. Because it's always neat watching the parents teach their offspring how to hunt or how to find food in the animal kingdom. And I've seen wolves do it just from seeing documentaries.
trees. I can't wait to see how they do it in the game. How we get to teach our pups how to hunt. It's going to be so exciting. But Ruby finally did it. She's so happy right now as little Pulsar rolls around. <laughs> she beat the odds that her family kind of stowed on her. She was thrown out as a pup. She was cast out of her pack for being too evil. And no one thought she would survive, but look at her. She survived. She had... Rigel! Come on, little man. I'm trying to do a little... Oh, so you're gonna come over here and help. <laughs> you stubborn little puppies. But, she survived as a pup, despite being on her own. She found a wonderful, protective, and somewhat evil mate, just like her. She had five adorable, mischievous little pups. I like to wander off in the middle of you talking. <clears throat> and everything just went perfect for her. Now then, uh, at the beginning of this, I wanted to keep 25 hexes of territory for her but we only have 22 and that is because instead of going out marking when Moonlight got injured I wanted Ruby to stay there to be with him because she wants to be a better mate than what her father was to her mother when her mother died so I'm like well I, I think Ruby would give up just two no, that would be three hexes of territory to spend time with her injured mate and her pups to make sure her pups make it versus just going out and trying to mark three hexes of territory. So I think that fit her personality better and it made her a better mother and a better, better mate. And she's still a pretty fierce wolf. I mean, come on, look at her. But we did it! We have our little princessa, Bellatrix. She's looking so gorgeous and confident. <laughs> She's a confident young lady. We have, it looks like, Denny Bola being carried back by his dad, or it was Rachel, I don't know which one. <laughs> one of them just got carried back. We have our handsome little Regulus right here, stalking around, prancing, making himself look all good. <laughs> Trying to get mom's attention, apparently. <laughs> and fighting with his brother, wow. Regulus is just all over the place. <laughs> this was definitely a special little litter. I absolutely enjoyed raising this litter. They had like the best personalities of some of the pups I've seen. Not to mention very mischievous ones. <laughs> and we got our little Dinibola. Spending time with mom. He's like, I'm just gonna hang out with her for a bit. And creepily glitch through her, whatever that was. <laughs> Rigel's pouncing on bones. Little Dinabola's watching something. His sister's greeting him. He's our young little tracker, apparently. He's tracking something. Oh, a stick. Wow. Look at that. He's just the mightiest of hunters. <laughs> and we've got our little Rigel. Our little chonker pup. With his cute little eyebrows. <laughs> I love that coat so much. What? Oh, you stupid bears! Goodness gracious, I can't even have an outro video either! You were there for the intro, and now you're here for the outro. Wow. You stupid bear, where are you? Go away! No one wants you here. And I'm gonna keep biting you until you leave. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say... Moonlight's just standing there. He wasn't even moving. I think he was glitched out. One of the pups is running circles around me. <laughs> it's chaos again. 
Get out of here, you stupid bear! Well, you missed the second time. Be gone! Get lost! Leave. Thank you. Gosh, these stupid bears. And Bellatrix! <laughs> She was howling that the bear had left, like, ha we scared it off. <laughs> oh, pup. These pups. So interesting. I absolutely love this litter, and I cannot wait to see what Bellatrix's litter is going to be like, because if, this, if her family was this crazy, I'm sure hers is going to be too. <laughs> But thank you all for watching. I'm gonna probably end it here. Bellatrix's video will be coming after Amicalola's video. After Amicalola finishes her litter. So I hope you all like it. I hope you all enjoyed watching these adorable pups grow up because it was quite interesting. And I will see you guys next time.